Nyejong. Or in English, that means hello mom. For my civil engagement project, I done it on to hold a class and teach my fellow cousins about Hmong ceremony. My plan of action for this project will be asking three teachers. I went and asked my dad, uncles and them to help teach the class because they are known for, you said they're a leader and people actually, you know, take them as a leader. So, my dad, which you show a picture right here, I asked him many questions. Why does he believe that not lots of teens like to learn this? It's because he said that teens, they don't think about. All they do is they don't really care. They don't have the effort to do it. So in the Hmong culture, there's three main ceremony. A wedding, one name, which is a shaman spirit walk to the other realm, and funeral. Hmong wedding is different from American wedding. First we have the groom, the best man, the bride, and what we call the bridesmaid is the green lady. But the two most important person is what we call the Mekong and the Gong. Now for the Mekong and the Mekong, there are the two person who leads us, leads the groom to his wife house. Many process, I'm not even, I'm not even close. I'm only like in the first quarter, but there's lots and lots of stuff to learn. It, everything involves alcohol. Whenever you're gonna say something, you gotta give alcohol first as a nice gesture of greeting, and then say what you wanna say. And they do the same thing back, lots of drinking. One thing different about Hmong wedding to American wedding is what the grooms and best men carry. The groom carries a luka. It's like a basket on his back, which we show in the picture here. Carrying the food and, you know, some stuff. I haven't completely figured out because we're still learning all that. While well, the best man carry the blanket. And one thing that I always got to remember in mind is that when you get there, you got to know you gotta know when you arrive and when not to leave. You should never always stay there too long. So in the next clip, you'll see some video of my older cousin and them doing the process of the wedding. I myself wasn't part of it. I was behind the camera the whole time because I am the youngest. And the older, older people told me that you shouldn't tell a person to live their life if your life is not as well as life should be because if you're young and you tell people how to live their life and when you get married your life is gonna go downhill nothing too long and enjoy <laughs> Now the second thing we learned was one name. That's something very, very hard to learn. To be shaman, father, or mother, they're chosen by the spirit. It's not that if you want to learn it, you learn it. Now next is the funeral. That is the most difficult thing to learn. Some main point about Hmong funeral. They last about three days. They're about three days. Depends if you're, if you're an elderly, it's three days for sure. But if you're a young teenager nowadays, it's could be it varies from a day or two else. Now the most important here for funeral is you need what we call a tzitoke, or someone to guide the spirit back to where he came from. So tzitoke part of his job is to take to call the spirits back upon to visit his family during the funeral. Now, the funeral does go for three days, and over those three days, there's many process that goes. But the most important, like I said, is the Tito Gates part. He gives the food to him, tell him who gave it to him, so that he knows that they love him or really misses him. And on the last day of the funeral, there is what we call a Gasu, which say the final words of what the dead person wants to say to a family. To leave luck, money, tell them how to live their life. 
And after the funeral has been done, three months after that, there's called well, we have a spiritual release. It's just another smaller version of funeral, but then it's not as big, but it's about two days. Still, you still need the same exact people to come back on that funeral day. That did the funeral, come back and finish the spirit release. Zhe